question, raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Greg, speak about the development of the linebacker position here at LSU and the different guys you've seen grow. Uh, I think the whole room as a whole has gotten better, honestly. I mean, I think we have great depth right now, great versatility. I think a lot of guys can do everything different. We got Omar coming back this week, which would gr be a great help. Uh, his his experience, his uh, leadership, him coming back would be great. And obviously guys like Witt and Wes, those guys, they're great players. Witt's going to be a great player, young player. And Christian uh, Braithwaite, he's coming along too. He's a young guy still learning. I just think we have... Great, a great room right now. Then obviously, Perk, he's every, he plays everything. So, I mean, I just think we have great versatility, and I think our room is on the climb, on the rise. As a veteran in that room, what do you focus on for the younger guys? What do you want to be able to deliver to them? Just probably just try to help them play fast. Like, uh, during the game, I was telling Witt, just don't think, just play fast. Uh, I try to handle as much communication. Uh, so he doesn't have to do as much things like that. So just helping him play fast as much as possible. Hey, Greg. Um, so it seemed last week at, in the Arkansas BYU game that they often struggled a little bit. So how are y'all going to plan to attack the offense, attack KJ Jefferson as a dual threat quarterback? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arkansas, uh, last three years, I think uh, the game's been decided by less than nine points or something like that. But we know it's going to be a great game. They have a great team. Uh, KJ Jefferson is a great quarterback, big guy, can move around and things like that. So I just think our defense needs to go out there and just handle the game plan, do our 111, and hopefully we can come out with the win. Uh, you like the maturity of the team when you go out and dominate a game like you did and get a lot of compliments. You feel like everyone is capable of resetting and looking ahead to the next game. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like that. Uh, we, we've moved past Mississippi State. Uh, we're not even thinking about that anymore. All our focus is on Arkansas and getting better every day, honestly. Uh, this game has been close every year, the last Correct. several years, like mm -hmm. a field goal game. Correct. So I guess when you hear you're an 18 point favorite or whatever, that may, may not mean much to you. Right, right. yeah. I, I don't think anybody on the team really pays attention to that. We know the type of game that's is going to be Saturday night. Uh, we know Arkansas is going to come out with an edge that we got to match, and it's going to be a great game. We know it's going to be a tight uh, physical game. Are there any benefits to having the defensive coordinator as your position coach? Oh, it's definitely some benefits. Like, he'll tell us stuff that he's going to change before he tells the whole team and things like that. Uh, so it's definitely we get the game plan probably a little faster than other positions and things like that. It's definitely some benefits. And just the way Coach House thinks, he's definitely helped me see, like, the whole picture of offenses and things like that to help me play faster. When you hear Coach Kelly say, I want gentlemen off the field but not on the field, I immediately think of defensive guys hitting people, right? right I mean, right. what can you say about what is he trying to build here as far as the character of the uh -huh. players? And the yeah, I, I just think Coach Kelly's just, he's basically telling us he wants to, us to be good people uh, off the field and great uh, gentlemen and things like that, hold the door for ladies and things like that. But on the field, he wants us to be dogs and guys that get after it, that play with an edge. And, I just think he, he wanted us to get back to that. I think we got away from that a little bit, and we're trying to get back to that mentality. What, what did you take away from the last game in terms of, I think they had seven yards on their first five possessions. Mm -hmm. um, what, what was working so much for you guys? I just think as a whole, the defense was just playing. playing. Everybody was doing their job. Uh, people, guys were straining and running to the ball. Um, I just think as a whole, everybody got after it, and everyone was focused. And we knew that uh, Greg wasn't playing, and I, we went out there and wanted to play for Greg. We have two more for Greg. Good. He's obviously in your thoughts moving forward a lot. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, boy, has that been, been tough for you guys, or how you dealt with it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. Obviously, not having one of our leaders out there, but. Uh, he gave us a message for the game to go out there and play and get the dub. So that was that was very important to us to hear from him. So we just wanted to go out there and play for him.